some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington State with the Solvtard known as Eddie Banks. Now, here recently, he apparently had a uh, two hundred thousand dollar bond placed upon him by a judge, and now the police have caught up with him, and he is about to be put in jail over that $200,000 bond. But not before the soft hard tries a few stalling tactics to delay the inevitable. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Damn, holy fuck. All right, here you go. All right, Eddie. Yes, sir. So you do got a warrant out of Everett, okay? No, sir. Yeah, you do. Oh, don't play that little coy game of you don't know what's going on here, soft hard. You were there when the judge signed the order. So you are under arrest at this point, okay? You understand that you're under arrest? That's a fraudulent uh, warrant. Okay, that's a. <laughs> that's an interesting tactic right there. Eddie, what, you don't think that the uh, cops have the ability to track that warrant and see if it's legit or not? I mean, uh, odds are they can do that, and odds are you are very much a lead paint drinking incompetent moron. Something that you can definitely bring up with the judge. No, 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 uh, no. I'm no, not no. involved in the warrant. No, no, that, no, no, no. Ever a case or anything like that, but I'm just telling you how things are going to go tonight, okay? I don't want to cause can any you, more problems than necessary. I don't want to have to use force or anything. No, you don't have to use force. Can okay. you get a uh, supervisor, please? Yeah, I'm a supervisor, and then my direct supervisor is also standing right next to you, okay? I want to speak to your... Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, that manager is already out there, and uh, the manager's manager is out there. So, so there's no point in uh, using this meme right here. But, uh, no, never mind. Let's just go ahead and play it anyway for shits and giggles. I want to speak to your... We're here, sir. All right, can you uh, get a state police officer? Uh, we do not, we're not required to do that. Huh? We're not required to do that. We're still within the city jurisdiction of the of Bothell, okay? I'm asking you to do that. I'm not going to do that. Please. That's not gonna happen. That's not something we can do here today, okay? Why? Because I'm telling you that you're under arrest, okay? So why don't we step out of the car? Yeah, clearly the officer's way too smart for your little delaying tactic right there. Too bad it didn't work. And if it had somehow worked, you would have only delayed the inevitable. Look, man. I see that your audio video recording, okay? I know, I know, but look. Listen, listen. I see it, I see it. Listen. In good faith, I gave you the license, right? Yeah. Now, I'm asking you not to do this because that is incorrect. Okay. So you're a software that, violation of RCW 4616A, I believe it's 200 license plates, okay? No, sir. In the state of Washington, which no, the roads you're operating on, do not recognize the license plate that you or no, the sir. paper tag that you have on the back side of your car, okay? No, As sir. Plate. So I stop you for that. No, sir. Because, no, sir, I, because I gave notice in the newspaper about what I'm doing as my Declaration of Independence. Yeah, I would have loved to see that uh, article that you wrote uh, for your own personal Declaration of Independence. But you do realize that as an individual person, you can't just declare your independence from a state because... You are residing within the state, you know, and as long as you reside within that state or country or whatever, you are subject to its laws. Now, in order for a Declaration of Independence to work, you've got to be a colony or colonies or state or states uh, that are subject to the jurisdiction of another state. Then you can declare your independence, but that's more of a collective decision right there, you don't dumbass, you know, of the societal level, not the individual level. Now, if you don't want to live within the rules of the uh, country, state, or whatever you're living in, then you can always find a empty island somewhere and declare it your own and, uh, well, separate yourself from the rest of the world. Under law. 
So I'm asking, and I've given notice to respect that. Okay. That's all I'm asking you to do. So please, I, so I I'm asking you to please bring a state trooper. No. I'm asking. We're not going to do that. I'm telling you that you are under arrest at this point, okay? I've given you a lawful order. Please step out of the car. If you do not step out of the car, force may be used to get you to affect the arrest. All right, can you, can you at least sign that that's a lawful order? Oh, yeah, another delaying tactic by the soft heart. I need that uh, lawful order in writing. Uh, no, just because it's uh, on a piece of paper doesn't necessarily mean it's a lawful order, you dipstick. So please continue with your, uh, well, rather asinine delaying tactics so we can uh, laugh at your sorry ass. Yeah, I will definitely put that in my report. Can you, no, 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 can, no. Can you do that right now? So to keep the peace, you said I, that. Master Police Officer Kobe Russell, I'm giving you the lawful order. To I'm step asking out of for it in writing, please. What's that? I'm asking for it in writing, please. I'm not going to give it to you in writing. I'm telling you in person right now. Then it's not lawful. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I'm asking you to give it to me and okay. well, we have a signed search warrant that I can provide to you when we get to the jail or uh, signed arrest warrant sorry that I can provide you when we get to the jail provide it right now please I, I'm not going to do that I'm asking you please okay. don't don't I'm use force you so you're asking and I'm telling you right so I'm going to ask you two more times I'm going to tell you that you're under arrest, and then I'm going to ask you to no, get sir. out of the car. If I'm you do not get out of the car, force may be used against you to affect the arrest. Okay? No, sir. No, sir. I'm asking you to be honorable. I am being honorable. No, you're not, because you won't give me the written order. All you have to do is give me the paper order, and then it's fine. That's all I need. Okay, I can show it to you. Dude, don't you talk about honor, because if you had any honor yourself, you wouldn't be a soft hard, and you would have already handed yourself over to uh, face your fate. That would be what men of honor do, to uh, face the consequences of their actions, and not to try to delay the inevitable through uh, a bunch of soft hard BS. No, 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 please. As a man, right now, we're, we're men. Yes. Treat me like a man. I can I have I Can am. I have that written order, please? I'm, I'm treating you like a man by ordering you to get may out. I have that, may I have that written order, when please? When we get to the jail, yes, I can definitely give that to you. May I please have the written order? When we get to the jail, I can give For that For God's you. sakes, man, can I have a lawful order I in writing? I can give you a lawful order. No, sir, person. man. Can okay. you please or give me a law? Arrest. If you do not get no, out of the sir. Court, force may be used against you. No, sir. I don't accept that. I'm asking you to give me lawful written order. That's all I'm asking. Okay. That's all. Okay. Well, I'm telling you at this point, right? You are under arrest. You need to get out of the car. I'm not accepting that. Okay. So that's what's going to happen. Okay. So let's step out of the car first. Sorry, sir. And well, there you have it, folks. I mean, this was a no nonsense uh, officer who didn't want to take any of the uh, BS. From the soft heart. He gave him plenty of chances, but he didn't make it go for 30 minutes on end and then ended it quite quickly. Now, as far as who was driving the vehicle with him in it, it was the uh, soft heart's son who was driving. Now, his son uh, was a mem is, is a member of the Navy and, uh, well doesn't hold to any of his father's beliefs. So that's a good thing. And they let him go without any issues besides them telling him that he couldn't drive uh, anywhere but to his house on that soft, hard uh, plate that he had on the rear end. So at least he's not going to pay for his father's stupidity. That's a good thing right there. But his father is going to have to pay for all this BS, I mean, $200,000 bond and everything like that. And that is his own damn fault. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you playing cereal? Who's that?